This is Scott the Fix-It Guy. Today we're dealing with a Dynasty stove that is not heating evenly. It has a, a lot of heat on the front right side and it's due to a hole in the Venturi tube, the burner tube, that we're going to be repairing by replacing the Venturi tube assembly. So here's the new assembly and we're going to be going over how to get out the old one and how to pop in the new one. It's pretty easy. Don't even need very many tools. Here's the old one with a big hole over by <clears throat> where the igniter is mounted. And this is a very common thing that happens over about maybe six or seven years. So you just have to replace the venturi. So we're going to take the grates out of the oven first. We're going to lift them up <clears throat> to about 45 degrees so we can pull them out. We've got the oven door open. Slip those two out, and then the bottom plate is actually really easy to get out. It just you grab the ends here and just pull it towards you. You gotta lift it up a little bit, and pull it towards you, and that plate will come right out. <clears throat> and there's a another metal plate underneath that that helps dissipate the heat, spreads the heat around, and that one just lift up the front, kind of similar, lift it up towards you and just pull it towards you. It's kind of heavy. That'll come out and that'll expose the igniter and also the venturi assembly. <coughs> and the venturi assembly is pretty easy to remove. Just lift it up near the back and lift it away from you first and then you can pull it right out. So it's not connected by any fasteners. It's just actually just sitting in there. So we got the old Venturi out. You can see that pretty big hole there. And that was just letting a lot of gas come out early. There was a big flame and it was putting too much heat in the upper the uh, front open. right side. And also wasn't letting the gas flow through correctly. <coughs> With the new one and the old one, you have to make sure you have set the air fuel mixture correctly. If you look at the old um, air fuel adjustment compared to the new, you basically want to just copy that same adjustment. There's a little screw that you loosen and you can twist the air fuel valve and you just want to look at how the old one was positioned and just try to get that in the same position. And that'll let the right amount of air mix with the fuel and you'll get the best kind of a blue flame. The blue flame gives you the most heat with the least amount of carbon monoxide. It's very efficient. So we put the new one, we put the new Venturi burner in by just putting it in and dropping it into position. And now we're testing it out. So the igniter's heating up and then the gas flows in after, probably takes about a minute and then it, it will ignite the gas. If you get a nice blue flame like this, little yellow tinges but mainly blue then that's a good quality flame and that's with the air fuel valve pretty much wide open so we got that back into position we're going to put the heat diffuser back in we just slide it into the slot here in the back and just let the front settle down just with gravity And we're going to slide back in the front panel. It has these little channels and travels in it. All the way back as far as it'll go. And you're pretty much done. Next thing is just to put the grates back in. Down here is uh, where you can see in the front is the air fuel mixture. <clears throat> you can turn this if you need to to try to realize that really good blue flame. If you notice there's a lot, a lot of orange or yellow, you may want to turn this and try to adjust it so you get the bluest flame possible. And that'd be the most efficient flame. Pretty easy to do. Once you loosen that screw, you can just grab it by hand and turn it. That part of the uh, Venturi tube doesn't get hot. These are the little hooks that the front panel hooks onto. To put the panel in, you, you put it in by lifting it up and push it in, and then you just let gravity act on it. It'll drop down by about half of an inch, and that'll lock it into position. So pretty easy repair. 
So I hope this has helped you and hope you can subscribe to our channel when you get a chance. Thanks for watching.